Hi everyone, this is Vivian. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare your broad edge nib before you start writing. Now if you just stumble on this video, broad edge nibs are used to write calligraphy styles such as Roman style, foundational, ancho, Carolingian, black letters, um, Gothicize, italic, and italic. So if you're interested in learning these type of calligraphy, broad edge calligraphy pen is what you would need. There's also a different kind of pen called um, parallel pens, and I have another video showing the difference between these broad edge nibs versus the pilot parallel pen, so you can check out that video here. So with the broad edge calligraphy pens, you buy the nibs and the pen holders separately. So I have two brands of calligraphy pen here. This one is from Browse and this one is from Mitchell. These are two very common brands for broad edge nibs. So for beginners, I highly recommend Browse. They are just very consistent in their quality. What you would do for both these nibs is they come with a, like a machine oil on it from the factory, you know, also just to prevent them from rusting during storage or during shipping. But that oil also prevent uh, ink from flowing. If you don't do anything to clean off the residue, your the ink won't flow correctly. You just get a huge droplet on your nib and it won't flow. So there are two things you can do. One is simply wash your nibs in uh, soap. So just have a little bit of soap and water and then uh, rub it with your hand and rinse it off and make sure you dry it thoroughly so it doesn't get rust. Secondly is you can burn your nib a little bit very quickly, just three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Just make sure you do it both uh, the back and the front and then just wipe it off. Wipe off any of the whatever thing that you burn. <laughs> And that should be it. So the same thing with the Mitchell nib as well. Now you don't need to burn the reservoir. And But let me talk about this reservoir a little bit. So I drew a diagram of um, the nib. And with this nib, you will, uh, the reservoir goes to the back of the nib. It kind of like slide on like so. And it will hold a lot more ink than without. You can use the nib without the reservoir. You would just dip the pen more. But with the reservoir, it really does hold a lot more ink. You can write many more words. And the thing with these reservoirs is that you want it to make sure when it slide on, it's not causing too much tension. So the reservoir goes to the back of the nib, and then when it goes to the back, it slide on. If it's too tight, it's going to create tension on the side, and then your nib is going to deform, and then you won't be able to write smoothly because if you're the tip of your pen is bent or missed the line, then it will just be scratching the paper. So we want to make sure that it's it's nicely you know snug, but then it's not causing any excess tension. And if it does, you just get a, a jewelry plier, small plier, and fix and fix the two flaps to adjust it. So just keep on testing it. You can hold this nib against a light source or against a window. If you see light you know, coming through the crack to that slit, that means it's too tight. So you need to adjust it more. And I also like to create a secondary bend so it kind of fits nicely to the profile of the nib. So that's all you need to do for the nib. And as far as putting the nibs onto the pen, it's quite simple. Most of the pen holder uh, looks like this with the outer ring and then the four prongs in the middle. So you just wanna stick the nib in between the prong and the ring. So, so when you um, put the nib into the pen holder, don't squeeze the side, hold the top and the bottom. And then insert it until it's nice and snug so the pen is not wobbly. You don't want a wobbly pen when you're writing. And then make sure the reservoir is still in the right place. If it's too far in, it will create too much tension in the bottom of the, um, towards the, the neck, but then it will, uh, the slit will be cracked too. So you wanna make sure you always check that you, the reservoir is right about 16 or an eighth inch from the tip of the pen. Make sure you don't see any light coming through the slit and then you're ready to go. So like I said, uh, new nibs are like new shoes. You need to break it in a little bit until you can write comfortably with them. So just keep on practicing. And after you practice, 
If you're just using regular calligraphy or eternal ink, then you can just wipe them clean and uh, practice the next day. But if you don't know when you're going to practice the next time, make sure you clean them with water, uh, dry them thoroughly before you put them in storage. So now you can get to your practice. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe. And if you're wondering what type of pen you should use to practice what type of calligraphy, I have another video here so you can also check it out. I'll see you next time. Bye.